The traitor bitch has been exploiting tower safe routes, so we are switching things up. Keep her on her toes. Maybe even rid the outskirts of some exiles while we're at it. New stirring schedule below. Georgia. Sunshine, you around? I'm here, Casey. What's up? I've located another flow regular, and guess what? Time is slipping away. What area is the reg? The regulator in small homes shoved, from what I heard through town, a bunch of thousands. You're gonna have to. Oh, and I look only way to access, so you should keep things. I'll be as cool as. <laughs> and hey, it's nice to know someone has my back. <sighs> You're welcome. Just hit me up when you... I'll do my best to stay... Uh, my tra tourist. Focus supply raid. The shallows. The food cache uncovered. Memorial Lane. Just a minute, please. We have to keep our voices down. I'm in a bind and I need a third party to set some wheels in motion. Someone unaligned. Nothing shady, I swear. You've got my attention? What do you need? Meet me on the opposite side of this building. Can't risk being overheard or seen. for a stroll. around too long. 
Walk away and we won't have a problem. I think it's wise to be wandering around. You made it. Good. Okay, here's the deal. I used to be with the tower, and I was happy there. Really, but I got a tendency to get some things I saw that didn't sit right with me. So I spoke my mind. My boyfriend warned me, but I didn't listen. I thought I could get through to these people, but whatever. Long story short, they kicked my ass out. I connected with the reclaimed out of necessity to survive, but I don't belong with them. We need to put all, we need to make our own. This is between you and your boyfriend. I ain't gonna blow some ask you to help because I've written just enough. You play poster. Time is working against it. I'm afraid one of us, Tower and Reclaim, don't you can see the delay. If the guy who runs my- That's it for me. Justin is stationed Tom's Lumberyard just to- He might accidentally kill- Don't worry. I ain't a charity cat. Here's what I have to offer. Industrial ship warehouse. Next place is infested with walkers. But there is- You can slip right on past- I stashed the key to the side. Here's the letter. Meet me back here after the letter's been delivered. I'm sure Justin will scribble a reply. He's not quite the poet I am, but I still love the guy. What are you doing around here? You need something? I'm looking for Justin. Need to deliver something. That you? Yeah, I'm Justin. What do you have? Devon asked me to deliver this letter to you. Much appreciated. Here, please deliver my response to Devon, and that's the last that we'll ask of you.
I know what's going on here, and it might seem to you like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers, but you are putting their lives in jeopardy. Devon allowed his attitude to choose his path, but Justin doesn't deserve to be dragged down with him. We've been through a lot of shit together. I don't want anything horrible to happen to him. They need a clean break. No more contact. If they keep this up, they will both be dead. I'm sure Justin gave you a letter for Devon. That's how they've been staying in touch. Deliver this letter instead. It will end things between them. Then they can get on with their lives. Devon, this is crazy. We can't continue. Not the best time for me right now. Back. God, I hope nobody saw you. Did Justin send a reply? Here it is. He was glad to hear from you. Thank you so much. This letter made my day. Hell, it made my life. Justin and I, we're gonna do this. We're really gonna do this. You made a difference today, stranger. I owe you. Here's that key I promised. Hopefully gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. I've got some information that you might be interested in. Hmm. Is that so? I suppose you want something for this info, too. This info is free. But only because you're such an amiable guy. Ooh. Spill it already? Like I ain't got nothing better to do than listen to your clowning? One of your soldiers, Devon. He's maintaining contact with the Tower Patrol at the Lumberyard. His boyfriend, Justin, to be precise. Who knows what he's been telling him. That's icky shit. Hmm. That's it for him. He's dead. I'll get him myself. Fucking shame. He always seemed like a solid kid. Fucking tower? He got their claws in his mind too deep. Not even JB could pry him loose. My space, my room. Back up. What was that? I think it's wise to be wandering around. in the area. That's the tourist? Doesn't look so tough. Oh! <laughs> 
about that? I'm not sure it's my place to decide the fate of their relationship. They're adults. Oh, oh please. Their blood will be on... Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through, and the building was secure, our numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave and beautiful souls Don't hang lost, around too long. but their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day more and more survivors found their way to our gates. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified. And as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But as the population grew, dissent found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? Did we crumble? Did we change our course? No. We persevered, as we have from the beginning. We knew that our future remained bright if we stayed committed to what brought us to our tower in the first place. So let us not allow all the noise to knock us back down to the ground from the heights we have already achieved. Let us continue to climb together. We must cut loose those who burden us with their petty squabbles, their poisonous minds and their freeloading ways. Trust in Mama when I say we are better off without them. Have I ever steered you wrong? Ah. <sighs> 
Casey, come in. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Manual open to the appropriate page. You ready? Let's do this. Great. Uh, let's start with the serial number again. Then I can calculate the flow requirement settings. Just like the first time through this. 562-793-6-42. Okay, uh, let me look at these charts a second. So, here we go. Got it. Set valve A to 26. Valve A set to 26. Number's green. Okay, good. Uh, valve B with A at 26 should be set at 39. Valve B to 39. Valve B to 39. Set. Two numbers green, A and B. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Now the button, right? Yeah. Uh, press the round button and we'll be calibrated. <laughs> when this is all over, we should start a plumbing business, huh? The, the, the bunker buds. Sounds like a plan. But the name needs work. Tourist and the Lip Flapper Inc. Oh, that's catchy. Ha, ah, frickin' ha, ah, tourist. Anyways, this regulator needs to be installed in another pump near St. Vincent's. Same routine with the beacon light. It'll be on, so be ready for walkers skulking about. Now once it's installed and you're back at the radio, let's touch base. Good luck. Gonna spend the rest of my day figuring out how to prevent the flood water from shorting out my radio. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. 